In today's video, I'm bringing back the Viego printer bigger and stronger than ever. This list right here is honestly some of the most fun with Runeterra I've had in a long time. Because when I say I'm going to bring back the Viego printer bigger and stronger than ever, I really mean bigger and stronger. Some could even say I'm bringing it back with galactic stats because we are not just printing Viego anymore. We're also printing Lick Moduli. The combo here is pretty simple. Either on turn five, you're going to play Viego. You're going to wait until turn six. And then on turn six, you're going to use Plinter Soul on Viego to get a 1-1 Ephemeral Viego. Then you use the Chronicler of Rune on that 1-1 to get a fresh Viego. So you have two on the board or you can attack with that 1-1 Ephemeral. It will die after the strike and you can play Mist Call to resummon the Viego and have two on the board. They stack super fast with the Mist that they summon. Viego will level fast than a Katarina on turn three. And if Diego isn't there on turn five, we have a second target that you can start printing on turn six instead. And that is Moduli, also known as Ligmoduli, the gatekeeper. You play Ligmoduli, and every single time he is summoned, he is going to double the chimes in your deck. So it's the same as with Viego. You play Splinter Soul, you play the Chronicler of Rune, you play Miscall, revive either Viego or Ligmoduli with the Haunted Tomb to go even bigger. But if you do print the Ligmoduli, please have Bard on board, so drawing all those chimes actually matters. Because if you're just making big units in your hand, it doesn't really matter that much because we don't have great targets for it. We do have a Deblum Wander for lifesteal. If you have a really big unit and you have a Viego on the board, you can just kill off your own unit and instant level Viego literally with like one action your Viego will be leveled because your units are so big from the chimes. But overall, that's pretty inconsistent. That's a combo. Print Viego, print Moduli, have a Bard on the board, and go Galactic and steal your opponent's units. All right, so I want to make a quick announcement about these deck intros. I am not going to do them all the time. I'm probably going to do them pretty rarely when a deck concept is just really weird, and I feel like needs to be explained. And I might do deck intros if I want to kind of like segue into me giving some kind of update, which I'm going to do right now. First of all, I am working on the next big video, even though I said I would take a break because I got a, a little bit or, you know, a lot of hate for the video that I made about the recent PvP announcement. I'm pretty sad with uh, the way some people reacted because I am not a Terra hater. I am not trying to doom post. I'm not trying to fearmonger or anything. I am just bringing attention to what's going on with my favorite video game and what those announcements could possibly mean. But don't worry, the next video will be a lot more positive. No the problem with X or no break in Runeterra. Just some good old fashioned good vibes in Runeterra, which is something that, you know, during my gameplay and on stream, I almost always have, unless I'm playing as Ionia. And yeah, lastly, of course, uh, I am sponsored by Mastering Runeterra. Make sure to check them out if you're looking for quality meta articles, tournaments, learning calls. If you like what you see and you want to get a subscription, make sure you use code SNUI for 10% off. Really helps me out, really helps them out, make more quality content. So I would really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, enjoy these absolutely fantastic games because I had such a good time. And I will see you in the next video. Your IRL forehead is wide enough. <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> Mom, okay, what's sunny? No, we have sunny at home. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, time to get run over by Annie. Hello, Remini. <laughs> all right, I guess we're burning down some schools today. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Alright, that's a good uh, turn one and turn two. <laughs> Alright. Is that actually better for you? It depends on how fast I can proc it, honestly. Yo, chaotic effect, they give you gifting us up to a wee little fox. I mean, we're just waiting for the Ligma Dooley, and then we're gonna try to, uh, print it. Let's go make some friends, Tippers. Embrace life. Expect death. 
All right, Ligma Dooley, it is your turn. Would a Targon 5 5 with Overwhelm Spell Shield be too strong? There, there is a card like that in the Bard story, right? I was thinking about almost the exact same thing. I, I think it would be too strong. Because, uh, yeah, Rune Runner, exactly. Yeah, no, in Targon that would be insane. It would. Okay, so this is bugged. Uh, Disintegrate doesn't work with Kindred. Thatch. Dude, Sollies, it's your birthday, man. Hey, thank you for gifting five. <laughs> Dude, happy birthday again. Thank you so much. The, the, the real carry of the channel. Um, So that's scary. Look at this, dude. What the hell? Okay. Now I got to really push you off the chair. Wait. <laughs> Is that why it was gifted? Me gusto muchos. Thank you for subscribing for two months. Take my prime, Mr. Streamer. Appreciate it. All right, don't die. Don't kill this, please. Let me let me pop off with Ligma Dooley. <laughs> oh God, top decks. Come on, let me meme, man. Let me meme. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Wait, we're going galactic. Oh, we're going to the moon. We have this too. Let's go. <laughs> Here we are. 582. All right, I'm not even gonna attack. <laughs> oh. Hey, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Pretty big. I, I hope this works because I, I I would like to draw too. I would. Uh, it might have been correct to uh, uh, 70 out of 20. <laughs> yeah, if we play Bard, we'd have even more. Oh man, all right. It's a uh, burn down the school deck versus Ligma Dooley. What? My bar. So I don't think that matters that much, right? Because as long as Bard lives, next turn we're gonna draw some chimes and everything's just gonna be Omega buff. And we have Bard spell. Yeah, you know, that should be fine. I got stunned. Forgot about the stun. Uh. It's Maduli goes to school. Alright, 
Uh, kill my 2221 and my Viego levels. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if, if, we, if we we're going to win, but we do have an atrocity in the deck. <laughs> this is why you don't skip classes. Go to school. Or better yet, just don't burn down your school. Oh, almost just dropped that. I mean, I'm just gonna attack here, honestly. Like, let's, uh, let's push some damage, maybe. We even have this to potentially push even more damage. Where do you think Maduli learned to multiply chimes? Probably at school. No. Traveler's call? I gotta see what opponent does first. <laughs> um. I think we should we should just accept this, right? Do it? Alright, screw it. Here we go. Hey, that's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> How big were these? 71, 69, 53. <laughs> I, I didn't think I was going to win a game like this today. GG. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Very nice game. Or Splinter Soul. Uh... Oh. No, Splinter Soul Rekindler just gives like a permanent one. But there are a lot of ways. <clears throat> have you tried Bard Soraka? I have not, no. Is Bard good enough to make Callista good? Um, I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> I don't think so. With leveled up Sorak, always draw in a card, it seems good. Eh, I mean, sure. With two chimes, hello. I cannot go. Okay, we, uh, next turn we just kind of have to uh, open fort and then play Viego and go off. Oh my god. Maduli! Oh no. Up. The whole world will know my language. Uh, Viego does die. Okay, it's fine. We have double miss call. I see your titles are quickly devolving into Tyler One titles. Yep. Uh, the man is a bit of a genius with uh, with titles, so can't blame me. Alright, well, opponent is in trouble now. Yeah, you're gonna be sad after this, dude. Yeah, you know, it happens. Sometimes you try to have a powerful turn, and then somehow you just have to deal with uh, a million Viegos. It sucks, but yeah, it happens. It, it happens, dude. <laughs> dude, there's another mystical. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, oh my god. 
<laughs> I love this deck! I love this deck! I hecking love this deck, man. Is Viagra just level? Oh my god, man. He's one off! He's literally one off of leveling. Oh my god. What even, dude? Such a good early game, and here we are. Oh my god. There. We'll just do it slowly. <laughs> take 18. Uh, sure, I'll take your bird though. Let's not BM. <laughs> this is the single most high rolled game I've had in a long time. Oh, Atrocity at birth? I mean, if they have single combat, I could lose. Okay, I, I didn't want to BM. I don't want to BM, chat. Didn't want to BM. <laughs> oh man, vile and disgusting. That's what that was. Wait, is that Phoenix? Is that the one and only? The degeneracy of Targon strikes again. Wait, wh where's the Targon here? I don't think we've run any Targon cards. We don't even run Esmus, right? I can't really block that. Bard is technically Targonian in lore? Oh, okay. It's worse. Is Bandal Degeneracy? Alright, all we're trying to do is get to Viego, I guess. It is time. Oh, my two. Yeah, thank you, Remni. <laughs> Good clip. really have to try to go galactic here to beat this. We need to have stats that are so big that we can just straight up uh, survive Zerat strikes. So we, we can glimpse beyond the Viego here if there's a um, a right of your game. Yeah, that's okay. We don't have miss call. That would have been even better. But with Ligma Dooley, we, uh, we we're just going to start printing. Okay, Zerid is leveled. <clears throat> Ligma. In this timeline, we're tell the people what you have seen today. Dissident. Oh, 
This is uh, this is gonna be rough to win though. Okay, so uh, next turn, Zareth pops. So this will be the uh, this will have to be the turn where we go Galactic. Okay, 74. Next turn, I have to play Bard. Copy and miss. We have mana for that. No, we're one mana off. I have to I have to go bigger though to survive Zareth. Is this deck yours? Yeah, I just made it today. What's up, Peps? Do you still have Telstones for Crumble? No, I cut it. I don't like the Telstones here. Bask in the sunlight. As long as Bard doesn't die, we can always just get like a million stats on the board, right? How many cups of obliterate card does the Emperor? I mean, there's one card, the Sandstorm, that can kill Bard. We've got things to do. Can't spoil our moment. I think this is a bad block. Actually, opponent wants Bard to be at uh, 11. Uh, 10, rather. Not 11. Because if Bard's at 10, it will die to two shots from Zarid instead of three. Movie time? I think this is fine. Because only, like, this will go to a 4 1, that's all. Right? Yeah, I need to think about this. Uh, the play this turn. Wait. It's obliterate? Does this, this obliterate now? When an ally. If an enemy unit would die, obliterate instead. Okay, so. Uh, this doesn't work anymore. Actually, we should do this then. And then next turn this. 302. Okay, let's get some stats here. I have to do this while Bard's on the board, so now nothing dies. Yeah, th so this is, uh, I, I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to beat Sundisk, but it feels pretty good because I just want everything to be able to survive the, the Zerat strikes. Not that Viego does anything here, but you know. <laughs> if, if Viego, if, if there was no Zerat here, we could literally use Chronicler of Ruin on this and Viego would be leveled, by the way. Just so, just so you're aware. But yeah, Viego doesn't work anywhere. Wait! But it says then revive it. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. It says kill an ally, then revive it. Okay, so I just thought that that was like... I, I, I thought it would just like function in the way that you kill something and then it, it literally just resummons whatever you decided to kill. Okay, cool. <laughs> now I know. Yeah, Viego can't level. Viego does not level. It's impossible. These cards are also dead. Miss Call is a dead card now. Why don't you just Vengeance Zerat? They have... Right, they still have Ancient Hourglass and it has a Spell Shield. Why does Viego level? Because nothing dies, it's obliterated. I just need Bard to stay alive. If Bard stays alive, we have a chance. If Bard dies, then we basically lose. I mean, even then again, we have so many stats, it might not even matter. There it is dead. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't really matter. Vengeance? I mean, they still have, like, Ancient Hourglass. If I, if I double the chimes, 
better, right? Yeah. yeah, Sandstorm is bad. I think I lose to Sandstorm. Yeah, so that's, that's not good. Uh -huh. I don't know if I die. Yeah, Sandstorm was, uh, was the single worst card. There were 12 cards, and that was the only card that could kill Bard. I mean, we might have lethal. We just have to open attack and uh, win, I guess. There should there shouldn't be that much they can do against this, right? Yeah, Sandstorm is obliterate. It could be the. Oh, okay. Never mind. That that doesn't. Do. Alright, well, let's just go a little more galactic, I guess. Let's just go a little bigger, chat. Let's, uh... Yeah, why the hell not, right? Let's, let's, let's go actually galactic. Alright, 934. You ready for more? Ready for more, chat? I hope you are. Here we go. <laughs> more. And more. <laughs> so there's one more. Wait. Are Zerets done now? Opponent replaced their deck, drew one Zeret, and that Zeret died, right? There are no Zerets left. Alright, well, that's kind of a waste. <laughs> I actually, I think I should have used this. I I, I should have actually used this. I, uh, no, it, it shouldn't matter because we can like double ping. Should Val? Yeah, Val should do 200 damage, and it should be able to target Nexus. Bro. Is there anything? I don't know what the Emperor's deck does anymore, but I'll just try to kill this, I guess. We must fight. Oh, right! Wait, they have Renekton. Yeah, Renekton. Yeah, Renekton, you're right. And this card, we can't go through that either. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we win actually. This is this deck is uh the Emperor's deck is just so strong. And that doesn't even matter. Like this literally just does not matter. Yeah, Renekton would kill us. Because of the spider links. Yeah, we can't beat Renekton. No, we lose to Renekton for sure. Yeah, we can't win. We we, we can't. <laughs> Yeah, we literally can't win. But we do have atrocity. You're right. We do. We can draw atrocity. We have one atrocity, right? Yeah, I don't think they have right anymore. They would have used it by now. The order is given. Onward. Oh, that, that kills us too, right? Because these are three trees. Opponent, open it. I think we're dead.
Uh, this right now is a lethal attack. Yeah, we lost. What a, what a lame moment, man. God damn. So many ways to win and we couldn't find a single one. Did you? If, if the sandstorm was near the bottom instead of near the top, it was a win. Danny, yeah, I'm colorblind. <laughs> oh my god, not this again. Um... Let's keep, let's keep big. Alright, let's replace the entire deck and go deep Bart. Deep Maokai? Casual, thank you for half a year. Appreciate that. Half a year already, man. Time flies. Favorite lore streamer by far. Keep it up, brother. SNNUI love. Thank you so much for that. How long are these streams? I usually stream around four hours. If we could put the, the Legion Deserter in this deck, though, it'd be, it'd be quite good. Static ship? Traffic. Yep. Okay, hello? Pog? And if Bart dies, we just have to haunt the tomb. But I would prefer to use it on... Okay, okay. Reggie is here to ruin my life again? Oh, no. The last four, four or five games against this card have been absolutely just... traumatizing. Every single time, this card finds lethal. Hello, Waxin and Puel. Welcome. Good morning. Unbearable, miserable, yeah, all of those things combined. Atrocious. Yes. Hi, Sony, love your vids. How do I improve my collection free to play? Played MTG and Hearthstone for a long time and it's miserable there. Um, so... If you... Th there's like a way to optimize your region roads. What you could do is play every region to level 8, like, play it up to, until the point that you get a champion card. Um, and then after that, you basically just want to, like, um, switch to a new deck or to a new region. All 10 regions, get the good reward, and, like, alternate between them until you get what you want. Um, after that, can you kill this? Also, weekly vaults are a really big deal. Expeditions just got removed, so you can't get the rewards from that anymore. Um, weekly vaults, region roads. I would recommend crafting, like, generally good cards that go in multiple decks. Disintegrate is a, is a pretty good card, isn't it? Pretty, pretty good. Like Pokestick Troll Champ, for example, exactly. Or cards like Zoe, cards like Victor, uh, cards like Annie right now even. They go in a lot of decks. My queen. I, I'm, I was actually thinking about making a guide like that to uh, help newer players. Tykes! Thank you so much for the Prime sub. I had I had a three-part video series planned where it's like, so you want to play Runeterra, so you want to build decks in Runeterra, and so you want to be better at Runeterra. Something like that. Um... So optimizing your rewards would be part of that. Watch your toes. 
But uh, it's uh, it's a work in progress, and it's not like it's not really content that gets like a million clicks either, right? So it's something I'm considering for the moment. Also, the event passes in this game are massive amounts of value, insane amounts of value. How good is Ogwen? Quite good. Oh, missed call. Hello. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I thought you'd never ask. Please make a guide on how to make Senna Lucian viable. I don't know if there is a way to do that. I mean, unless you're talking about Senna from Demacia, but, uh... Senna from... <laughs> Shadow Isles, the champion, doesn't really no Double attack's kinda trashy, yeah. I mean, the rally is not bad, right? Uh, if this gets Scorched Earth... With Swim, BG, and Ellen not being in a scene anymore, you're probably the big. No, it's Grappler. Grappler and Majin Bay are pretty big too. I mean, Grappler is the big. I mean, I'm here for. I'm here for. I'm here for the long run. I'm, I'm committed to Runeterra. I know I got a bit of hate for the last video where I showed my concerns for Runeterra and the recent announcement, but that doesn't mean I dislike the game. That's just me showing concern for my favorite game. I, I'm staying here, I have full faith in this game, and um, I love playing it. I, I might honestly use uh yeah I'm, I'm just gonna use this barrier. This this uh this is pretty questionable, but if that dies and we get to attack with two fearsome units, pretty good. The only time that I might make content for a different game is if the right MMO is good. We actually just won because of fearsome. What the hell? But yeah, when the right MMO comes out, I I definitely want to play that because I'm gonna assume it's good and I might try to make content for it. But that's so far in the future. We'll have to see what happens. I really need a bar to stay alive. That, that was my only hope. And I never drew a second one. I never drew Atrocity either. Big Thatch. Oh, your whole deck's prismatic? Nice. This deck is fun, though. I, 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 like, the thing is, if it wasn't Zareth, if Zareth effect wasn't so stupid, we could have literally leveled Viego in one single action with the Rekindler. Anyway, bonus stream is still a fun deck to play. I, I, when, when it's like a meta deck, I, I don't really, I can't get myself to play it, but it is a fun deck. I also had the Obliterator Follower in my hand from beginning to counter Fossey. Oh, okay, yeah, then I, I would have never been able to win. You must. Attack with zero and you get more damage? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Alright. Three spell mana for Viego. Pretty good. Kinda wish we had the Camivore and Soldier. Alright, use your thermal beam or something, I don't know. Whatever you want to do. He 
He's back! <laughs> Unlucky. If opponent attacked with these three, we would have actually just taken nine damage, by the way, because blocking was super awkward. Alright, we, we need to, we need to start blocking this Viego. Probably just glimpse beyond like one of these zero ones or something. We need to find Ligma Dooley. Wait, speaking of Krona Shift, why the hell doesn't San Diego play the Zillion spell? I feel like that's just like easy, easy inclusion. Did you just take six damage with a deck that can't heal? Yeah, apparently. And I could have missed it, but... You Swerve. So my guess, obviously, is that they are going to use um, this card. That should be fine. Splint is still gone. Okay. I mean, after this turn, we're probably gonna be, uh... That's the wrong order. Gotta put this first. Show them our metal. Yeah, you gotta pull them back. Yeah, now you put this in the front. There you go. Um... This will get Viego super close, right? I think that's worth it. Um, actually, let's you see me? Yes. keep this back and block like this. Okay, wait. So Viego is at 1, 3, 9, this is 10, plus 2 is 12, this is 15. 15. Okay, this is... 6. This is 7, 10, 16. 18. Uh, this should be fine. I can hold that. Now, leveling Viego should be possible here. Matt, this are... Yeah, it's because of the mist, and we have to be careful for next turn. Like... I'm holding this back because next time, next turn we're going to use the Chronicler on that. We're going to be a 15. We're going to summon a new Mist. Uh, it's actually kind of hard. 15. So now when this Mist dies, Viego levels. <laughs> My boy Sony having this. Having a stroke trying to cut it. Yeah, I, I tried to uh, plan for next turn. Should have blocked with the zero one instead of life. So you know, because I wanted Viego to come close to leveling. Okay, but by putting this on the stack now, Viego should level, right? Because now any double spell from uh, Jace, everything should be slow speed. I could have probably used this too if I wanted to, but that's fine. Maybe playing this was just better, instead of risking it with this. But then we're completely tapped out. I'm not a huge fan of that either. Okay, so Viego is leveled, so unless Viego dies, we steal Jace. 9-8. Needs to be Thermo or something? Steal, yeah, kill. That's fine. Hey, show me that again. Testing. Yeah, kill. I mean kill, I know it's killing. I, uh... 
I'm trying to do math, okay? I can't do grammar and math at the same time, chat. Come on. I'm a mere mortal. I'm not that powerful. Does double double thermal ignore? Yeah, it does. I've sadly uh I've been on the receiving end for that. Lisa Sonny Loney's trying real hard. Yeah, man. I'm trying real hard with my meme deck here. Sheesh. Alright, if uh, Viego dies, it's actually cool. We can even do Chronicler of Rune. Is English your first language? It's my second language. I am Dutch. I am from the, the lands of Nether. Dude, low-key, I've been pretty hyped to try uh, Minecraft. Speaking of the Nether, <laughs> that update looked pretty sweet. Loki. Loki. How you sleep in the Netherlands without beds? Uh, we don't. You need a bed. Their guilt is evident. You got a server? I did. And uh, I should probably revive it. Courage, soldier. I'm actually Dante. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. Justice. Red, you're gonna get it? Yeah, it's a spell. The spell's gonna do us in. It's always a red, you spell. I'd like to see you cry for help and desperation when facing and fighting the warden in Minecraft. Yeah, me too. It looked so good. Yeah, I'm hyped to try Minecraft, man. Reggie commits vehicular manslaughter on a... He does, dude. Reggie? Reggie is a psychopath, man. I swear to God. <laughs> Ferris Financier confirmed psycho. No doubts in my mind about that. I think Reggie might actually be the warden. <laughs> yeah. TSM Reggie is a psycho. Yeah, that's what the articles say. I don't know how many cards opponents play to kill Viego, but I have some bad news, man. There, there's another one, right? Here. Come on, then. Pog? Hell yeah! Wait, he actually did it! Reggie almost came through, dude! Oh my god. Reggie! You... You psychopath! We're at 20 HP, by the way. <laughs> Alright, I want my Ligma Dooley, though. Is it a real win without Ligma Dooley? <laughs> oh, man. Opponent's gonna be so sad when we play third Viego, man. Oh, no. Oh, my... God! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> there were gonna be two Viegos there! One does not simply kill Viego in the Viego printer. 